Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. I've been meaning to film this video and we're finally getting to it. We are going to be doing a wear test on the brand new Urban Decay Face Bond Waterproof Self-Setting Foundation. I have this in the shade 17 Medium Warm. If you know me, I'm always in neutral tone, but this was actually a way better match for me than the neutrals that they had at Sephora. The warm one was just, it, it was a lot better. So we're going to get into the nitty gritty. We're going to talk all the specs first. I'm going to do a demo application of this, and then we're going to talk about the full face and do check-ins throughout the day. So if you're interested in seeing all this information, then let's get started. So this is not going to be a first impression. This is going to be a review and wear test, okay? I just wanted to get that out there. I took my hair down because I felt like I looked bald just now. Let's really quickly read the specs on this foundation. This retails for $40, but currently you can get it at Sephora for whatever your discount is during the Sephora sale. My shade, again, is 17 medium warm. It does match me at 18 medium neutral, but I felt like in the store when I swatched it, that one just didn't really match me. It seemed to go a little bit more green than I usually go for when it comes to my foundations. It says this is a lightweight waterproof foundation with skin care benefits of a serum and self-setting powder for blurring effects in a medium coverage matte finish. So the finish is a matte natural and the reason why I was so intrigued by this foundation is because it does say it's self-setting. If you know me and even if you don't, I'm gonna let you know right now, I do have oily skin. My skin gets very very oily pretty much on my entire face but mainly right here on like my cheeks and also like my forehead area. So I was already like okay Let's try this out. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping this thing. I was about to say I really like the packaging because it's so sleek and compact, but I think that's kind of messing me up because I keep dropping it everywhere. As you can see here, it is very sleek, very compact. It's really nice to travel with. You can kind of just like slip it into any corner. I keep thinking that you have to twist this, but you just pull it off right there and then you can see the little tip. I keep saying that this reminds me of a mechanical pencil, the way that this dispenses. It still has a flat bottom so you can sit it down wherever you need to, so that's really nice. I am not going to be using a primer. I want to color correct, I always color correct, and today we're gonna be using this one from Sigma. This is the Spectrum Color Correcting Duo in the shade Medium Dark. They gave this to us on our trip recently, but I already owned this, so it like reignited my curiosity curiosity on this. Luckily, fingers crossed or knock on wood, I don't have any active breakouts right now so I really just have to cover up any of my hyperpigmentation and to do that I have again this Sigma selection of brushes. They gifted this to us on our trip again. These are the new soft coverage brushes. These come out on the 11th I believe. I don't think that they're out yet when I'm filming this but they're supposed to come out April 11th but oh my gosh they look and feel incredible. These are my favorite type of brushes, these little small paw brushes. This is the F8 Precision Powder. This is the F11 Soft Sculpt. We have the F43 Soft Angled Cheek. The F72 Soft Angled Concealer, which I am so excited for this one. This really reminds me of the Rare Beauty Concealing Brush. And lastly, we have the F48 Soft Coverage Brush. These seriously look incredible. They feel incredible. They have the little Sigma logo right here on the actual handle. And something that Dr. Simone Xavier told us, she's the founder and she actually joined us for one of our dinners. She told us that they have this patented technology with their with their brushes where it actually screws in versus using glue on a wood handle. This is not wood, there's nothing wood about this, so it's not going to expand and contract whenever you use it, which is why Sigma brushes last forever. And I've noticed that too. My Sigma brushes I've had for years, like pretty much since I started using makeup, and they all still look pristine. Okay, so I just mixed these two. I forgot how nice this texture is. It's very, very similar to my favorite Bobbi Brown color corrector in the shade Peach, except this one gives me a little bit more leeway because 
I can like mix these two colors, which is really nice. I do like a thicker color corrector. I like something that's going to stay in place so that when I go on top of it with concealer and foundation, it still stays there. It doesn't just like disappear underneath my other complexion products. And I'm just going to use this lighter shade under my eyes and on my nose here too. Do you guys also have marks right here from like glasses if you wear glasses? Mine are so prominent now. Wow, this works so well like i said i have used this foundation before and if you're curious how this covers my hyperpigmentation for the most part it did cover the majority of my hyperpigmentation however i was still able to see a little bit to where i used a concealer on top of it but i think that this will really help with the coverage so now i'm going to use this f48 soft coverage brush and what i'm going to do is take some of the foundation on the back of my hand and i also noticed that you need very very little of this to get like good coverage I just did a very thin line on either side of my face when I first used it and it pretty much gave me all the coverage that I needed but I'm going to put this on the brush from the back of my hand just so we can kind of spread out that product and you can see there look at that coverage again we are using a color corrector underneath so that is going to help a lot with my hyperpigmentation but overall do you see how nice this is? I will say that this color is a little bit more warm, a little darker than my skin tone currently, which is totally fine for my face because my face is lighter than my body. But even so, it is kind of like darker than my body right now. But we're going into the warmer months, at least here in Florida, and I do get quite tan. So I think that this is going to be a really, really good match for me during the summertime. So I'm gonna keep this shade and we're just gonna kind of work with it as I'm still a little bit more pale. All right. so. I just want to show you guys what it looks like with one light layer of that foundation on it looks really nice you can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation here but that's totally normal typically i do have to go in with an extra concealer to further conceal my hyperpigmentation and sunspots but overall this gives me a really good finish so for me i would say this is a medium to full coverage foundation i typically go for medium coverage but this i think that i could build to more of a full coverage this foundation is also very easy to blend whenever I see matte foundation I do get nervous that they will self set really fast or they'll just set a lot faster and it'll be harder to blend out because they'll be streaky and stuff like that but this one actually gives me a lot of playtime which I'm very thankful for I don't see this foundation sinking into any fine lines I don't see it emphasizing any of my pores if anything I feel like it's really blurring like my pores right around my nose I have Started to use a wet sponge again so I'm just gonna use this and pounce it all over the face and try to get all the excess foundation off like I gave it a second to set down but now I want to kind of like make sure that everything is really nice and blended and I don't have any extra product because that can tend to feel more heavy and through the day if I have a lot of makeup on it can tend to feel and look more oily so I feel like this kind of just helps eradicate that issue that could be in my head though I don't know all right this is what the face is looking like with one layer of that foundation I do feel like even though it's a little bit tacky it doesn't feel as dewy and as wet as other foundations that I typically wear I would say for me recently I've been really loving my skin tints so the CL skin tint that one does not really set down at all house labs foundation that one does set down really nicely i still powder every time though that i wear foundation i just know that my skin needs it if not then i look very oily and actually when i did wear this the other day i did not initially powder because i was like testing out the self setting of it it does dry down really nicely but throughout the day i do start looking pretty greasy so there's that maybe you can spot powder but for me i still have to do my whole face so now i'm gonna go ahead and conceal i'm gonna be using my colfi concealer and this l'oreal true match this is in the shade n5 and the colfi one is in the shade mango drop so i'm gonna use this to further cover up any hyperpigmentation or fine lines that i just 
don't want showing through the foundation. I also don't want to go in with a second layer. I typically try to avoid doing that when it comes to foundations just because I like a more weightless feel. To talk a little bit more about the way that this feels, when it comes to the claim of feeling lightweight, it does feel very lightweight. It almost just feels like you have a light moisturizer on once it dries down. It just feels like, you know, obviously it's still wet, but it doesn't feel greasy or anything, and I really do like that. I am someone, though, who is very used to wearing foundation, so if you are just not used to wearing foundation at all, I can't guarantee that it's not going to feel like you're wearing foundation. That claim is very interesting to me, and I, I don't really get it all the time because, I mean, when I'm wearing makeup, I, it feels like I'm wearing makeup for the most part. <laughs> you know what I mean? But does it feel like a heavy layer? Like, does it feel like a traditional matte foundation. No, I don't think it does. If anything, it has a very similar texture to a skin tint, but a matte skin tint. So take that as you will. I really like this. It really pushes in the product without it getting cakey. Yeah, this brush really reminds me of the Rare Beauty concealer brush. So if you like that one, this is very similar, except I feel like the bristles on this are slightly longer, a little more compact, but still they feel slightly softer to me. Actually, I just cleaned out my foundation and concealer drawer, so I'm gonna pull this one out. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy in the shade Custard. I want to love this so bad. It's just an okay concealer to me, to be honest. <laughs> Don't hate me, I know that it's like everyone's holy grail, but for me, it's just alright. And here is the finished complexion. I think I'm gonna leave it at this so we do have color corrector the urban decay face bond on top we have concealer and that's pretty much it i'm going to finish the rest of my face i am going to do my typical cream and liquid bronzers and blushes most likely and then i'm going to do my eyes and i'll be back to show you guys the finished look and show you what we're starting with all right, that took a lot longer than I anticipated, but here is the final makeup look. I have not done my hair. I probably won't do my hair today, to be honest, but this is the finished makeup look. The lashes are lashing right now. I am not used to seeing myself with false lashes or strip lashes at that. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this makeup look. So far, I think everything worked really, really well. I loved everything. And also the lashes are just, I think I need to get used to it. It's beautiful, but I'm just not used to seeing myself with strip lashes anymore. But anyways, this is what the face is looking like. I would say that I have been wearing this foundation for like 30 minutes now, actually set down and ready to go. It just took me a while to finish like my lips and my like my eye makeup and everything. It set down beautifully. The skin looks flawless. Again, for me as someone with oily skin, it is something that I find myself having to set down. Now, if you do have dry skin, I can actually see this working really well for you I don't think that you would have to set it down with powder and it would give you a very natural but still matte type of finish I think that it would look pretty much like this on your face without powder which is the dream right uh, unfortunately I cannot do that but I really really like the way that this sits on the face and it's definitely more of a medium to full coverage foundation on myself and I like having a couple of options when it comes to full coverage even though I tend to go more skin tint route more of a light medium to medium finish this is probably going to be one of my go-to's when I'm doing like a night out or for a special occasion or something or just in general when I feel like doing a full coverage type of makeup look this I think is going to be a go-to but we will see at the end of the day how this wears throughout the entire day and I pulled out my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I haven't used this in a minute. It is currently about to be 1 p.m. But again, I'm going to say that this face of makeup was done around like 12:30. So I will probably check in in about two or three hours. We will see where the face is. We'll see what everything is looking like, and then I'll do a final check in at the end of the night. Hello, guys. I am back. I am so distracted by my hair right now. I hope that you guys don't mind as much as I do. But I'm doing my first check in it is about four o'clock so three and a half hours since we've had this full face of makeup on let's kind of give it a look let's see what's going on here so i do have a little bit of like mess 
mascara fallout here but the actual complexion okay we're looking at this foundation and honestly the way that this is looking right now it looks immaculate immaculate three and a half hours in i haven't gone anywhere i have been home i've been editing i've been cleaning i had some lunch and it's been a pretty chill day i knew it was going to be like a work from home type of day and i wasn't really going to be going anywhere i'm sure that if i was out and about in the heat in the sun in the humidity maybe that would change my wear test a little bit but since I have set my face down, do you see how much of a natural glow I'm getting since my natural oils are coming through? I can tell from this and the way that my skin usually like reacts throughout the day whenever I'm wearing makeup that this is like, this is good. And also it is absolutely necessary for me to powder with this foundation on, okay? Do I believe the claim of it being self-setting? I kind of do because when you first put it on it does kind of dry down and it does like dry down to a natural matte finish but i don't think that it is self-setting for longevity i think that you still have to set it down with powder if you plan to wear this for x amount of hours you know what i mean so it is going to kind of set down so it gives you that little uh i guess head start when it comes to your makeup if you have oily skin but again this is kind of the natural oil shining through so you can see right here like my oils are starting to push through and actually i love i love the way that my makeup looks at this point i love a little bit of oil i love a little bit of shine it gives me more of a natural face look whenever i have makeup on because i don't have any powdery areas i don't have like really cakey areas my oils kind of help to like melt any foundation and powders and stuff into my skin really nicely that is definitely personal preference if you do have oily skin and you prefer for your makeup to stay looking matte all day you either will need to do more powder like maybe bake a lot harder than I did I didn't really bake today or maybe just use a stronger powder and also a mattifying primer would really help usually I'll use the Cali Ray so blown blurring primer that one is really really nice and I think that it helps kind of like even out my pores I also feel like it kind of fills them in too so my oils don't come through as quickly either way this is sitting beautifully I'm not seeing the foundation like settling into any lines I do see a little bit like right here in the creases of my nose like I mentioned I did kind of expect that with this one because I had noticed it the first time I wore it I did want to note that I was talking to some friends during the creators and friends trip that live on the west coast they live in California and we were kind of talking about how the different climates affect our skin and our makeup and stuff like that so when we were in New Orleans it was quite humid for them but for me it was less humid than it was in Florida and I was telling them how when I was in LA my skin did feel a little bit more dry than it normally did I was still pretty oily but I was not anywhere near as oily as I get when I'm home so in saying that if you don't live in a humid climate I honestly feel like your face would probably stay for the most part pretty naturally matte with this foundation but if you do live in a humid climate like i do somewhere more hot or something expect it to be wearing a little bit like this we'll see how this looks in another like three hours or so also my blush is going strong i love that layering technique of the rare beauty liquid blush with the luminous powder blush I feel like this has not moved one bit. I do have a little bit of creasing under my eyes where my concealer is, but I didn't put the foundation there anyways. So I'm not considering that as part of this wear test. So that's it for my first check-in. Again, three and a half hours in, I will probably check in let's see maybe in another three hours or so and we'll see how the final face is looking all right officially my 10 hour check-in it is almost 10 30 p.m so we are like right at that 10 hour mark let's look at the face pretty pretty oily pretty greasy here we are seeing a lot of oils coming through so again i do think that this is something that you will most likely have to set if you do have oily skin like i do i would say that i started seeing a little more oil than i wanted to probably around like the eight hour mark i would say around eight hours is when i was like okay this is about the time where 
I feel like I would have to repowder my face. Like it was like not something that I would probably go out in. I think around the six, seven hour mark, it was kind of like, I wouldn't prefer for it to be as oily, but I understand why it's like so oily. You know what I mean? Aside from my actual oils, because I know not everyone has oily skin, in looking at the actual foundation, the foundation has not budged. It is staying put like everywhere that it's supposed to there's absolutely no transferring i'm not seeing any demarcations on my face now granted i didn't really like lay down or anything i didn't take a nap or anything like that today so i didn't anticipate that i would but even so like touching my face and stuff like i i don't see any demarcation now i'm pretty sure like i can guarantee you if i took my finger and i just smeared it across my face i am almost certain that would kind of ruin that area and you know give me lines of demarcation but other than that i mean like look my blush is still there obviously the blush that i used plays a big role in that but also it needs a really solid base to actually stay on the face and i feel like it did just that you know like aside from my actual oils if i were to powder my face down right now i feel like i would look exactly the same as i did when we first started this video i don't feel like any of it like melted off my skin there's no areas where the foundation started to ball up or like sink in and it's like obvious you know i mean 10 hours just being in my house i would say that if i were out and about in the humidity in the heat and stuff i would probably get to this point around the eight hour mark i think it would take off maybe like two hours ish or something like that i was outside for a little bit i had some friends stop by and we were just chatting outside it was nice and cool you know but i didn't really notice anything she did compliment my makeup so at the time it was looking pretty good this was around like six o'clock this afternoon or this evening oh i forgot to mention so at the very beginning when i was actually demoing and putting this foundation on i was referencing the first time i wore it i need to apologize because that was an actually the first time I wore this foundation that was another foundation that I was testing that day and I got it confused I did wear this foundation I think the day after that and the day after that when I wore it I did powder it down and it wore really nicely I will insert a photo here yeah it was my last video that I posted actually that's when I was wearing this foundation so you can kind of reference that video if you want to see what it looks like but I still did get oily at the end of the night however I didn't wear that face of makeup up as long as I did today. So in terms of self-setting that claim, I do think that this is pretty self-setting. Like I mentioned earlier in my last check-in, I do think that it self-sets when you first apply it because it doesn't stay greasy. It doesn't stay wet. So whenever you apply a layer of this, it does dry down. It's just a matter of if your natural oils start coming through throughout the day. So I do think that if you don't typically have to powder your face, you probably will not have to and in saying that if you do usually powder your face you probably will have to if you want to get the most out of this wear just out of pure curiosity i do want to now powder my face down and i'm just going to use this fenty beauty invisimat powder this is the translucent version right here so i just want to powder all the places that i feel like i'm excessively oily just to see how this powders down now i will say if i was wearing this only for a couple of hours versus 10 hours i'm pretty sure that it would powder a lot better just because the makeup in general is going to be more fresh than it is right here right now so keep that in mind as we do this little demo but i'm just going to take this little hourglass brush i'm going to use a good amount like i'm going to be very generous with it and i think i'll go ahead and start in my t-zone and then just work my way out to all the areas that i feel like i need some powder all right so i just powdered this side of my face so we can kind of compare it to the left side that powdered down really nicely and as i suspected the face looks like brand spanking new this basically looks like you know if i told you i just did my makeup i feel like maybe you would believe me because this face of makeup is looking so good i am really really impressed first of all i'm impressed that the makeup stayed in place for the most part throughout the day and i'm impressed that i was able to powder it down without everything caking and looking really smeared and like gross this is super impressive i will definitely say that this foundation is doing so well now is this going to be as long wearing as something like the house labs foundation i don't think so because with that one 
that is more of a matte finish for me and it's also a little thicker a little creamier so i do feel like there's just like that added layer of creaminess that my oils have to go through versus this that does feel like it's a definite thinner texture than something like the house labs foundation or even like the euphoria date night foundation the nars matte you know the one like in the squeezy tube i feel like even that's thicker so i definitely feel like this feels very nice and lightweight but it does give you really great coverage and it lasts pretty much an entire day i'm genuinely super impressed by this i really really enjoy the way that this wore on my face when i wear this again i think that i will apply it with a primer like my usual mattifying blurring primer to just give it a little bit extra wear time i think that it would definitely help and i also want to try it with my one size setting spray i did opt to use my charlotte tilbury one today but in the last like year or so my go-to has been the one size setting spray that thing will keep my makeup in place all day so i think that when i use this again i'm gonna do primer and i'm gonna do the one size setting spray and i'm pretty sure i'll get even more wear time out of this and i also think that this is going to be so travel friendly for a lot of people just because it's so compact there really doesn't seem like a lot of wasteful package in this foundation i like that it doesn't have any extra glass frosting or anything like that you know it seems like they really went minimal with this and i hope that is the case so overall would i recommend this i definitely would i think that it's a great foundation i love the finish of this while it does go on pretty matte it still looks like a very natural matte and i was still able to get a full face of makeup really really enjoyed it actually and the most important impressive part probably for me is the way that it just held all of my makeup on and how it repowdered after 10 hours that's really impressive and just imagine if you're wearing this throughout the day and you're not doing a wear test when you see yourself starting to get oily you can just go ahead and powder and not even have to wait that long to where you do get that oily you know what I mean I'm very very happy with this purchase I think that this is a great launch from Urban Decay they just do their complexion products and just their products in general recently recently so well they've been really impressing me so this has my stamp of approval all right guys that's everything for this video please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this foundation and if it's something that you're curious about i would love to know if you found this video helpful if you enjoyed it then please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye